Tones gameplay idea for you. This one does not need the Compound Tones game board, but you can always celebrate with I built all of my ice cream cones success poster. So you see here, I have organized all of the easier cards. Remember there are harder cards marked with a cherry. All of the seven, eight meters are marked with a cherry as well as other meters that just have a little bit more complex rhythms. For the sake of this video, I'm just keeping it simple. So here I have all the cones organized and each one of these has the identical measures per section. So you do not necessarily have to do it this way. I will say it depends on your students. Some students like to match the cones to be identical. So if you have that kind of student, you will want to do it this way. But if you have a student that doesn't care, or if you're especially wanting to encourage them to understand compound rhythms beyond just matching, hey, this looks the same, then I'm gonna show you both ways to do it. So here's gonna be a matching game, and first you're gonna not have these all like this. I just did this to show you, here, here is how I organized them to make my sanity easier. So these are all the six, eight, nine, eight, and 12, eight cards. And what you're going to do is you're going to choose two of each meter. So you're gonna do two, nine, eight. I'll just go ahead and pick them all I go. And then two, 12, eight, and two, six, eight. Okay, and then it is like any other memory matching game where you will mix up all of the cards together and you will lay them out on the ground or a table. Now, unlike most matching games, for this, you need to pick up three at a time instead of just two at a time. And you can match them based off of time signature and not just based off of identical match if you would like to. So here is a 9-8 top and a 9-8 bottom. So someone can go after these if they would like. Now this is 6-8 top, so it does not match. You have a 6-8 middle, 6-8 middle, and 9-8 top. None of these match. You have a 12-8 middle, 12-8 top, and a 9-8 middle. None of these match. Okay, here you have the 9-8 top, middle, and bottom. So here is your match. And so the student would collect it, they would clap and count it, all of them, and notice these are not identical. Now these two are, but all of them are not. And you can mix them up. I had them where I had all the same top, middle, bottom, and I just chose two of those sets. If you want to choose random 9-8 tops, 9-8 middles, 9-8 bottoms, and none of them are the same, you can also do it that way. I was just being ultra organized with how I did it. So this is how you play the game. You just match three, top, middle, bottom, and then whoever can build the most cones wins. That is how you play this matching game. Another way you can play this matching game is to match two tops, two middles, and two bottoms. And this one you would play with flipping up two cards. So I'm trying to remember what I flipped up earlier and I definitely don't remember. <laughs> and I think I actually misplaced them. All right. Okay, there you go. So it's a 9-8 top and a 9-8 top. So those match. The player would collect these and then keep playing. Okay, they're both 6-8, but it's a top and a bottom. They do not match. Okay, both middles and both 6-8, they match. So this would be with those students who definitely don't mind. Some students definitely have trouble with matching. They're like, no, it doesn't match. The ice cream doesn't match and the notes don't match, but they're both 6-8. So this will not work for all students, but for some students, this will work. So that's two memory match games that you can play with compound cones.